Last night, and again this morning, I spoke with President-elect Donald Trump, and I congratulated him on his great victory. We talked about the work ahead of us and the importance of bringing this country together. Let me just say, this is the most incredible political feat I have seen in my lifetime. This is something you've heard me say time and again. Seven out of 10 Americans, they do not like the direction our country is going. Many of our fellow citizens feel alienated and have lost faith in our core institutions. They don't feel heard and they don't feel represented by those in office. But Donald Trump heard a voice out in this country that no one else heard. He connected, with, he connected in ways with people no one else did. He turned politics on its head. And now, Donald Trump will lead a unified Republican government. Look at it this way. Our House majority is bigger than expected. We won more seats than anyone expected. And much of that is thanks to Donald Trump. Donald Trump provided the kind of coattails that got a lot of people over the finish line so that we could maintain our strong House and Senate majorities. There is no doubt our democracy can be very messy. And we do remain a sharply divided country. But now, as we do every four years, we have to work to heal the divisions of a long campaign. I think President-elect Donald Trump set the perfect tone last night for doing just this. And I know President Obama and Secretary Clinton are committed to bringing the country together. This needs to be a time of redemption, not a time of recrimination. We all need to rededicate ourselves to making America great and making it a more perfect union. We, we had great conversations about how we work together uh, on the transition to make this work together. We're, we're trying to get our schedules lined up to meet to flesh out how we build our transition, how we go forward. And so, yes, I'm very excited about our ability to work together.